dear colleagues i am dr anil shah from suryakanta hospital in this video i will show you snare trisection of a grade 3 cataract normally i prefer transconjunctival limbal tunnel incision it is usually 3.5 mm to 4 mm and it is more towards the limbal side the width of the tunnel is also small so it is a shorter tunnel the shorter tunnel has got advantage that snare can go directly into the anterior chamber and engage the nucleus and divide it into two sections but if your tunnel is on the more or towards the scleral side then passing snare is difficult because you have to cross the tunnel and then go into the anterior chamber so there is a little zigzag movement of the snare because of this chamber can collapse and engaging nucleus is difficult now i am making a side port incision with the side port blade now with the trifine glue i will stain the anterior capsule normally i wash or wash the trifine glue from the anterior chamber with the bss or saline i preferably use sodium hyaluronate in all the cases and it has got many advantages now with 26 gauge cystitum i am doing a capsular excis i usually do capsular excis with the cystitum and sodium hyaluronate is make the chamber stable so excis is also perform very easily another side port is made hpmc or sodium hyaluronate is used to demarcate tunnel now with a 2.8 keratom the internal incision is made it is usually wider than external incision i preferably remove the capsular tag now this is my special 22 gauge cannula with the tip facing downward and it is connected to bss bottle i use this cannula for hydro dissection hydro delineation also for rotation of the nucleus and i try to remove as much as ep nucleus on the surface of the nucleus and i try to make, i try to delineate core embryonic nucleus now with the sins cube the nucleus is pole is lifted so the one pole comes above the capsular rim now with the sodium hyaluronate and the cannula i take out the nucleus into the anterior chamber and rotate it now i push and sodium hyaluronate in the angle so as the iris goes behind then also on to the anterior surface of the lens and also in the angle so that the nucleus should be free floating now i will use the snare to do bisection make the loop smaller than the size of the nucleus pass the tunnel obliquely then slowly enlarge the size of the loop and then divide the nucleus just by pulling the handle as this loop becomes smaller it is away from the endothelium and it is away from the posterior capsule so it doesn't cause any damage to the endothelium and posterior capsule and sodium hyaluronate is used good protection to the endothelium and posterior capsule now make the nucleus slightly oblique and again use another snare now make the loop smaller go obliquely one loop goes below and one loop goes above and now with this you do a division and so we get a trisection of this grade 3 cataract now with hpmc i will separate each nucleus fragments i prefer macpherson forceps for removing nucleus fragment the main important trick is that pass the macpherson forceps along the entire length of the nucleus hold the nucleus but don't press the nucleus the one pole of the nucleus should be above the inner corneal incision if it is below the inner inner corneal incision then the uh, fragment will go into the angle and it will not come out of the tunnel so pole should be above the inner lip of the corneal tunnel now here again i will be holding the middle fragment with the macpherson forceps along the entire length 
and taking out the second fragment easily. Now uh, fill the chamber with the HPMC or sodium halonides and make the nucleus into the center. Now with the Macpherson forceps again I will remove the last fragment. Macpherson forceps is very easily used and it does not cause any damage to the endothelium or even to the tunnel. It is a very smooth way of delivering nucleus fragment. Now with the irrigating cannula, biomanual irrigation cannula, I am doing a cortex wash removing all the cortex and epinucleus and also clearing the cortex which is in the angle. Now with the biomanual, I will remove the cortex. This is my preferred method of doing uh, cortical aspiration by a lateral facing aspiration port which I have designed. You can go deep into the fornices and remove fine fragments of the cortex and this lateral facing aspiration port is also useful to remove thin cortex lying on the posterior capsule. Now after this I fill the anterior chamber with the HPMC and sodium hyaluronides. This is hydrophobic preloaded IOL which is gone smoothly into the anterior chamber. Then with the lens dialer, I will pass this heptic into the back. Thorough washing of the HPMC and OVD is done with the bimanual irrigation. I prefer small air bubble in the anterior chamber. This is uh, intracambial Vigamox. Now I will close the incision by covering the conjunctival flap. Thank you very much for your kind attention.